Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a little bit of a different video. I've got a sitting down sort of Q&A talking video for you. Um, I've moved my position. I'm actually now facing my window hoping to get a bit of a better light situation for you. I'm a little closer to the camera. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think of the new sort of way I'm filming. Uh, let me know what you think and um, yeah, let's get into the Q&A. So the first question is actually more of a bit of a two-parter. So it's actually a question from Sky and Reagan. They both asked the same question, but then Reagan added something on towards the end of the question. So I'm just sort of gonna answer them both together. They both asked, how many plants do I have? And I think I counted them individually. I think I have about 58 plants, give or take, because I have obviously loads of little babies, which I haven't counted. But yeah, about 58, almost 60. <laughs> and then Reagan added on to the end, what is my favorite type of succulent? It's quite a hard question because I own so many different kinds of succulents and I love them all and they're all so cool in their own individual way. Some are fuzzy, some have like a rosette shape, some are a bit more like taller and some of them produce babies. And it's just, you know, there's a wide range of different succulents to like. But right now, I think my favorite succulent has to be, oh God, I don't know. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna say my favorite succulent right now, I mean, my opinion changes a lot, but right now I'd have to say it's um, the Crashula family. It's like a wide range of varieties. You know, you've got like the Crashula Avata, which is the jade plant, and then you have the dwarf jade, which has the tiny little leaves. And then you've got like the Crashula perforata, the string of buttons, which just grows like a column and then grows out. It's just, you know, there's so many different varieties to the family that, you know, I think the Crashula's are definitely my favorite right now. Obviously in a few months time, it'll maybe a year, my opinion will probably change. I was a big fan of Echeverias at the beginning of the year. Um, so yeah, I guess it just changes with my collection, I guess. <laughs> and then Reagan also asks, what do I think is the most overrated succulent? Um, I'm gonna get quite specific. It's an Echeveria. I would say the most overrated succulent, well, for me anyway, I think it's the Echeveria Pearl von Nuremberg. Every time I go to my local nursery, literally all I see, they have like maybe three different types of Echeverias, but they have like multiples of, and the Purple Nuremberg, they must have at least like 10 or 12 of the same, you know, just like Purple Nuremberg's everywhere. And then like two tiny little ones of like maybe a Polodonis, and then, you know, that's it. So yeah, I definitely say the most overrated succulent right now is the Pearl of Nuremberg. It's the only thing that I seem to find everywhere. Everywhere I seem to go, any nursery, any garden centre, even the local florist up in town, like has uh, like they sell succulents and they have like three or four of the Pearl of Nuremberg's, and I'm kind of sick of them. I have one, um, and yeah, I'm sick of them. <laughs> And then a bit of a random question: Cheyenne and Morgan asked me, "Do I get haircuts?" Um, I do get haircuts sometimes. Just not often. So it. <laughs> okay, and then Drew asks, what is my favorite succulent that I have, that I own? So, that's quite a hard, hard decision to make. Although I did recently just get my Echeveria Lola and I am absolutely in love with it. It is gorgeous. I wanted it for so long and it's so pretty. But then at the same time, I also got um, a tiny little ghost plant baby and I've wanted one of those for as long as I've wanted an Echeveria Lola and I got them around the same time, like within the same week. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna settle on my Echeveria Lola right now. My Echeveria Lola is definitely my favorite succulent that I own right now. Isn't she beautiful? And Cyclone Always on Instagram actually asked me how long have I loved succulents and I fell in love with them about two and a half years ago um, and then I just started looking them up all over the internet. Now I didn't actually own one until a little bit later than that but um, yeah I saw them I think it was on Tumblr maybe. I'd seen a picture of them and I was like, oh my God, what are these plants? They're so cool. They look like flowers. Cause I saw that there were pictures of Echeverias and Pachyverias and those kind of things. And I was just like, they look like flowers, but they're not, they're supposed to be leaves. That's really cool. Like, um, so yeah, I just started saving all these different pictures of all these different like <laughs> succulents that I wanted. Um, and just sort of then started going from there, I guess. And then Cactus Succulent Obsessed on Instagram. She asked me, do I prefer cactus over succulents? And no, I do not prefer cactus over succulents. 
no. <laughs> um, uh, in my current collection, I don't own a single cactus, although I have been looking around at a few different ones. I've really, I've seen, I can't remember what it's called, but it, uh, it's called like the old man cactus or something, and it's got like hair, it looks like Albert Einstein. It's like really cute and really cool. I think I might want one of those. But um, no, I don't have any cactus in my um, collection right now. Um, I owned a couple cactus um, last year, and I tried to rehabilitate a couple cactus that um, I took from where I was working at the time because they just sort of left them and they were literally just like falling apart. One of them literally exploded in my hands. Yeah, I left those with my ex because he was more into the cacti and I actually took the aloe vera garter, which is now a lot bigger, and um, the Christmas cactus that I have now, or the Thanksgiving cactus maybe? I'm not sure. And then another question, I think the last three questions that I actually have for you for today are from Cactus Succulent Obsessed as well. Um, she's actually a really dear friend of mine on Instagram, so if you want to go check her out, please do. Um, I'm going to be leaving the uh, links to all the Instagram uh, people that I've mentioned today. Um, so please, if you do uh, want to go check them out, please do. They've got amazing content, they post amazing photos, um, and yeah. Cactus Succulent Obsessed on um, Instagram, her name's Mel. So we're just gonna refer to her as Mel for the next two questions. Mel asks, when did I buy my first succulent? Um, I bought my first succulent about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. Um, and I was really bad at them. I had no clue how to look after them and I killed them all, um, except for one which survived. Um, and then I think, I don't know what happened to that one actually, I think. I left that one with my ex when he took the cacti um, because I didn't really, where I was moving to, I wasn't sure whether I'd have a lot of space for the new plants um, or any plants at all, what the lighting situation would be like. So I took, you know, the two relatively low light plants that I could take. You know, the aloe vera guard doesn't mind being in lower light situations and neither does the Christmas cacti cactus or the thanksgiving cactus so i took those two and then left that one there with him but yeah about a year and a half ago maybe two years ago so the next question again from mel she asks what got me into collecting succulents and yeah as i said earlier i was just you know scrolling through and i saw these pictures and i saw they were really cool plants and i thought they looked a lot like flowers even though they weren't um and then i saw some of them actually flowering and then that really confused me so i did a little research into them and then i, I went to my local garden center and i picked one up <laughs> And then the final question for today's video comes from Mel again, and she asks, where do I get my succulents? Um, the majority of my succulents I do get from my local nurseries. Um, there are two local nurseries near my house. Um, one is definitely better than the other, um, by a long shot. Um, <laughs> although in the other one, I did find a couple of succulents that I'd been looking for that I couldn't find in my other nursery. So it's not too bad, but their selection is just very small. Um, but yeah, I usually get them from either the two local nurseries. Um, there is a garden center near where my mum lives, but I haven't been down there yet. Um, and then besides that, I get a lot of my plants through swaps on Facebook. I do a lot of succulent swaps on Facebook. Um, I'm in, a member of a Facebook group on Facebook. I'm a member of a Facebook group on Facebook. You know what I mean. <laughs> so I do a lot of swaps on there as well, which is where I've gotten a lot of my new plants from. Um, a lot of the ones that I've been looking for for ages. Um, like the ghost plant I got there, the jelly beans, both the green and the orangey ones I got from there as well. And that is all the questions that I have time for today, guys. Um, and that's all the questions that I got for you. Um, if you did like the video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to stay notified of every single time I upload, then please go over to my channel and click on that bell icon so that you can get notified again of every single time I upload. If you did like the Q&A and you'd like me to do another one, or if you wanted to ask me some more questions about myself, I don't know, um, please feel free to uh, do so. Just leave some comments in the, down there and just let me know what you guys think. Um, and if you would like to follow me on my social media, then please head over to my Instagram, that's at Kai Sucks, or you can follow me on Snapchat, um, and my Snapchat's at Kai Reese, that's R W -E C W -E, like I say in every video. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.